the PDB kit contains the PDB itself, an XT60 pair, including the spacer, and five press nuts. The frame kits contain an M3 stainless steel washer and an M3 by six stainless steel cap screw. These are intended to be used to seat the press nuts into the PDB. The washer has one side with smooth edges and one side with sharp edges. Put the screw through from the side with sharp edges to protect the solder mask by having the smooth edges face the PDB. Put the press nut into the top of the PDB. Insert the screw and washer to the bottom. Start tightening the screw while holding the press nut to the PDB and then tighten until the press nut seats all the way into the PDB. Remove the screw and repeat for all four. The XT60 spacer fits the shape of the XT60 and it is the male XT60 we'll be installing on the PDB. XT60s need to be soldered while mated together so when the heat softens the plastic the connectors remain aligned. Fit it to the PCB so the dot is positive. This makes the whole lower plane of the PDP negative so there's no potential short between the ground in the frame through the SMA pigtail on the top plate through the alloy spaces to the PDB should the arms wear through the solder mask. Now with a wide chisel tip just tack both connectors to the PDB so they hold in place while the other is properly soldered. Pressing down on the PDB firmly the whole time to properly seat the XT60 flush against the PDB. Now properly heat each one, one by one, so that the heat flows into the PDB and also into the XT60. It'll take a lot of heat because the four ounce copper is wicking the heat away. Reorient the board if needed to get at a different area. And once heated through, melt the whole lot together and let to cool. Repeat for the other side. Getting a good solder bridge with the solder between the XT60 and the PDB. Clean up with isopropyl alcohol and remove the flux and the finished joint. Now tin the ESC pads and any center pads you plan to use. And now the PDB is ready to install.